What's up, hackers? We are going to keep those interview vibes flowing this week. And if you listen to episode two, you are in an open marriage. Step two was to start dating. Hashtag always be interviewing. One of the most predictable components of an interview is questions. You are going to be answering the common questions that you prepared. And without fail, the interviewer is going to pop that question at the end. Do you have any questions for me? This week, I am sharing tactics for asking questions that exude confidence. Now, before I dig in, be alarmed. I am talking spicy from the gospel of Chris Brown. The song I want you to think about is Questions. I'm sure you've heard it. Girl, I got a question for you. Can I get an answer? Now, I'm sure you don't show up to any interview expecting the answer to be no. And based on Chris's confidence in the song, he wasn't expecting a no either. So what you want is the yeah, 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 yeah. Now, depending on what stage of the interview you're in, yeah can either mean, I want to invite you back for the next interview step, or I want to make you an offer to join the team, ching, ching. You can ask the right questions in an interview to get insight on whether you're the right fit or not. Now, before I dig in, let's talk about the negative implications of not asking questions at all during an interview. According to researcher reports and through my own experience being an interviewer, when someone doesn't have questions to ask, it shows a lack of organization, that you might not be intelligent, lack of interest, confidence, critical thinking skills, and sometimes even desperation for the role. So don't show up looking thirsty, right? So if you're trying to get the yeah, you've got to get on one knee and pop those questions too. So time out for these responses. No, you did such a great job answering my questions throughout our chat that I don't have any additional for you today. Cancel this one too. The recruiter answered all my questions during the screen and I'm all good. You want them to love you cause you're dangerous. You heard Chris, she only love me cause I'm dangerous. What do you want them to love about you? That you did your research, you're prepared, you're a critical thinker, and that you will be a successful fit in the role and its organizational culture. Here are some tactics to ask those dangerous questions to have them going crazy for you by the end of the interview. Number one, your natural inquisitiveness throughout the interview can be a whole vibe by itself. You don't have to just ask questions at the end, you can ask them throughout the process. For instance, when answering questions that highlight your skills and opportunities that you defined in your SWOT analysis from episode 15, you can end the answer to that question with the question, does that match the skills of the candidate that you are looking for in this role? Or what kind of training and development programs do you have that focus on opportunities? Because I'm super passionate about my growth. And when they hit you with that question, where do you see yourself in the future? You can end that answer with, does that align with the direction of the company? With these pop those questions hacks, the interviewer is gonna be like, whoa, this person is invested in their development and they are hungry for knowledge. Number two, be confident asking clarifying questions during the interview. You just wanna make sure that you're tracking. When the interviewer pops their question, you want to make sure you give the leading answer. So don't be afraid to say, I want to make sure I have this right. And then you repeat your understanding of the question back to them for clarity. Or if you truly just don't understand the context of the question, asking the interview to clarify is welcome. Don't get stuck thinking that it's gonna show incompetence. It'll actually show that you were serious about getting the details right, which will be a direct reflection of how you might perform in role. And for number three, it's time to make them lean in with your questions. Now, of course, you can be inquisitive about the next steps in the hiring process, when is the next interview, but you don't wanna make these the only questions you ask. Chris could have just said, can I be your boyfriend? And not done all the extra hooking that he did to try to get the girl. 
But your questions need to be powerful and thoughtful, grabbing attention, and also giving you the information that you wanna know about the role, the interviewer, and the team. So you're gonna prepare five and prioritize the top three in case you can't get to all five. But here's a few to start with. I noticed that you've been at the company for X amount of time. How has your role changed and developed since you started? Or what made you join the company and is this the experience you were expecting? People love to talk about themselves. It motivates them. Think about how you feel when you talk through your brag notes. It makes you feel good, but in the interview, it gives you insight about the interviewer and the team. Another question, what would success look like for me in the first 90 days? You want them to know that you are ready to roll out the gate with a bang. How do you measure success in the role? That shows that you are ready to hit those numbers. You can also ask as it pertains to the role, what have been the most common challenges in this role? This gives you an opportunity to flex your problem solving skills and then circle back on how those skills are the solution for the challenges that exist. And lastly, to understand about the team, what are the team dynamics like and which members on the team are going to be my closest allies? Of course, you're not going to work to work in a silo and sit in the corner at the party, but you are going to fit in at the barbecue with their friends and family. And that's what you want to get across in your interview with this question. So let's replay the tunes. One, naturally ask questions throughout the interview. Two, repeat questions for the clarity you need. And three, hook them with your dangerous questions that'll help you get that yeah, yeah. Now, I know the lyrics are provocative, but the overarching theme in this song is his confidence. To employers, a confident candidate is a sexy candidate. You show sexiness when you answer your questions effectively, and especially when you pop those dangerous questions at the end to make them love you. So when they ask you, do you have questions? Think of Chris Brown and say, yes, I got questions. I love y'all and thanks for listening.